to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is full moon messages, so it's going to look at your next lunar cycle from full moon to full moon to see kind of what you can expect. Now for the energy of the reading, we've got the dark blue candles, intention for emotional healing. We've got the blue aventurine for inner strength, the amazonite for its calming properties, and also the lapetolite for its calming properties. So lots of healing, peaceful, calm energy in the reading. Now for reading selection, we have reading number one reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. If you already have an intuitive selection method chosen, go ahead and pause the video, make your choice, and I'll see you in your reading. For anyone who would like a little bit of assistance honing in with their intuition, I'll lead a short breathing exercise. Let's begin by closing our eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking which reading is for you. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now one of the cards or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. Now for reminders, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the full moon in Cancer. Your first message of the reading is a personal issue reaches resolution. So sometime in your next lunar cycle, you're going to be coming to resolution on some personal issue that you're dealing with. Now, let's see what else you can expect from full moon to full moon. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the next lunar cycle for group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Six of Swords, so you're moving on from something. Now, there's a note in the Six of Swords to say, to make sure you're not carrying the baggage with you. You know, whatever this resolution is, you're going to move on from something, but make sure you're not bringing the baggage of it along with you. Now, Queen of Coins, that's beautiful. It can represent you or someone you're interacting with in the next lunar cycle. But the Queen of Coins is very generous. Like, she wants for nothing, and she shares what she has with everyone around her. Six of Wands, victory. So you're going to come into victory somewhere in the next month as well. King of Swords. All right, so there's going to be some challenges and tests as well. But your intelligence, your strategy, 
you know, your capabilities are going to help you conquer it. And finally, the Empress. So that is very foundational energy. You are kind of laying down roots either in your career or possibly, you know, actually laying down roots. The Empress can also represent motherhood. So some of you may already be mothers. And this is just saying, you know, hey, that's that's part of the deal for the next month. That's part of the deal for the rest of your life um, is, you know, the, the motherhood. So however that resonates for you. Now, let's see what the angel deck has to add for group number one. Angels, for the best benefit of group number one, please. Courage. All right, yeah, go into the next lunar cycle with courage. You are moving on from something. It's going to be very victorious for you. Now, I would like to see the king of swords with the moon on every deck. So what is there to add to this king of swords? Nothing will come of this situation. Okay, perfect. So whatever challenges, whatever tests you face, nothing's going to come of it. Everything's going to end you know, with you in a victorious stance. So don't worry about the challenges you're going to face for the next month. You're going to overcome them. Now let's see Moonology for the Six of Swords as well. What is there to add to this Six of Swords? A fiery climax approaches. Okay, definitely moving on from something. Like a fiery climax is, you know, poof and it's it's done. It's over. It's you know, you can move on from it. So, you know, yeah, it's it's headed your way. Now let's see Queen of the Moon for the Queen of Coins. What is there to add to this Queen of Coins for group number one? Action. Okay. So there is some action you need to take to step into this Queen of Coins energy. Um, it could be that, you know, accepting a promotion at work. It could be just, um, you know, sharing what you have with someone in your vicinity. But there is some action that you're going to take that really brings you into this Queen of Coins energy. Now, the Empress out of Queen of the Moon. Creation. Okay. Okay. So for those of you that are hoping for motherhood, this is saying set your intention, the universe hears you, and you're, you're going to step into it. Also, if this is just foundational energy, you know, laying down roots, buying a home, you know, getting your first apartment, whatever, whatever it is, it's very foundational for you. Make sure that you're very clear with the universe about what you want. These are like building plans in the picture. So, you know, it's be very, very clear with the universe. See what you want in your mind's eye and then let the universe know this is what I desire and it will draw it to you. Now, the six of wands. Let's look at the six of wands with the spell casting oracle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number one, please beauty all right it's gonna be a beautiful victory you're going to consider this next month very victorious for you um and when i say month i mean you know in between the full moons you know there it's going to be a beautiful victory the six of wands talks about you know i mean you can tell just from the picture he's victorious and this is you know this is very beautiful so it's it's going to be something that you really have set your goals on and and you're going to be getting there now let's see what crystal supports you for the next lunar cycle so the crystal for group number one please golden healer quartz open the door all right yeah open the door let whatever blessings are coming here let them in this is, it's going to be a month that really moves you forward down your path. Now, let's see the little wisdom deck. So for group number one, please, for their best benefit for the next lunar cycle. All right, you get spell manifestation. That's what I was talking about with this creation over here. You have the capability of manifesting exactly what you want. So just be really, really clear with the universe. You may even be um, really good at manifesting with writing. So maybe get a journal 
you know, write your manifestations down. That is going to help draw in exactly what you want. Now, let's see what the star seed deck has to add for group number one. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number one, please. Okay, we'll cut to them. You start with meditation. Take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. So make sure you pay attention to meditation for the next month. Um, just, you know, make sure you get your meditations in. Give your mind time. You also get wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So whatever these challenges and tests are, see it as an opportunity to expand your light and just know you're going to come through it shining. And finally, you get stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. So when you find yourself in victory in the next lunar cycle, just take a moment to enjoy it, reflect on it, be still in the moment, and feel the love and compassion from the universe, from yourself. Know that this victory is yours to be had. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please remember to subscribe. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the full moon in Leo. Your first message of the reading is don't let pride get in your way. So for the next lunar cycle, just try to make sure pride is not blocking you from anything. Now let's see what you can expect from full moon to full moon. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the future of group number two from full moon to full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Ooh, you start with the Page of Wands, so there may be a reunion for you in the next lunar cycle. This can also be a creative project that you may be stepping into that you're really, really passionate about. It can represent a young person who has just got all of this drive to to jump into the world that could be you or it could be someone you're interacting with in the next month now you get the high priestess next so the advice to follow your intuition your intuition's functioning at a high level and it's not going to lead you wrong now five of swords so there's some worry um this worry could be around work or home, uh, but it is very, I mean, it's, it's a very sharp thing. Um, we'll get Oracle for it and see kind of how you step out of it, step around it, how you deal with it. King of Cups comes out next. That is a very mature, very loving energy, very compassionate, um, just really wants what's best for you. And then finally, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is either the need to pay attention to details, or it can be somebody paying too close of attention to you, or you paying too close of attention to somebody else. Now, let's start the Oracle off with the Angel deck. So, Angels, for the best benefit of group number two, please. Universal Heart. All right, make sure that you're connecting with the universal heart. Make sure you're being clear with the universe about what is in your heart, what you want. And also, you know, connect to the planet. Listen to the world and nature around you. Now, let's see what the uh, Moonology deck says for this Five of Swords. What is there to add to the Five of Swords? Believe in the impossible. Okay, so wherever you're worried, if you're worried on a financial level, if you're worried about a relationship, if you're worried about your job, wherever you're worried, 
you need to believe in the impossible. You need to believe that it is possible for the problem to just dissolve for you, for you to find the, the best method of dealing with whatever your problems are. Um, and it's just going to come to you. It's going to come to you easily. So believe in the impossible, believe that these situations are going to resolve and that way you'll be able to step out of some of this worry. Now for the page of swords, a new start is coming. Okay. So a new start is coming there. I, I kind of feel like the, the page of swords, maybe you having to pay such close attention to all the details you having to deal with all the situations and just really be on top of your game all the time. And a new start is coming that's going to help you relax a little bit. Now, I want to see the Page of Wands with Queen of the Moon. So what is there to add to this Page of Wands from Queen of the Moon? Purity. Okay, so if this is a reunion, if you come back together with someone in the next lunar cycle, then it is a very pure thing. You are, you have some form of soul connection, whether you're twin flames, your soulmates, your soul family, um, it, you have some form of connection that's just very pure and there is more for you to do through this relationship. Now for the King of Cups, abundance. Okay. So there, whether this King of Cups represents energy that you're exhibiting or represents someone in your vicinity, there's going to be an abundance of true compassion and emotional love for you in the next lunar cycle. Now, let's see the High Priestess with the Spellcasting Oracle. All right, for the High Priestess. <clears throat> truth. Okay. So that definitely says you can trust your intuition. Your intuition is telling you the truth. So wherever your intuition is leading you, that is where you should follow. Now let's see what crystal will support you in the next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, a crystal for group number two, please. Carnelian, feed your creativity. Okay, so for some of you, this is definitely a creative project. You need to feed that creativity. It is coming from a very pure place inside you. So you can, I mean, it's it's really going to be a game changer if you follow your passions into whatever you're creative about. Now, let's see the wisdom deck. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number two, please, for their best benefit. Okay, we'll go through one more time. All right, let's cut to it. Fire, passion. Okay, yes, absolutely. Follow your passions. That's what I was talking about with the Page of Wands. Wherever you're creative, wherever you're passionate, you need to follow that for the next lunar cycle. I mean, you should definitely do. You should definitely follow your passions all the time. But uh, but specifically now, really follow your passions. That's going to open up doors for you. Now let's see what the little star seed deck has to add for group number two. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number two, please. Ooh, you got four. Okay, let's see what you got. You get freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Then you got creation. Being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless creative soul. So that's the second time you've been told to foster creativity. Plus you got passion and passion. There is definitely doors that will open for you if you let your passions run. Now, next you get inner worlds. Your external world is a reflection of your inner world. So let go of some of this worry. Believe in the impossible. Believe that those problems are solvable and that you will solve them. And that's going to establish itself in your external world. 
And finally, you get blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please remember to subscribe. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the full moon in Capricorn. Your first message of the reading is that the end of a tough cycle approaches. So things have been a little difficult for many of you, but that is coming to an end. Now let's take a look at what is in your future for the next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number three, please show us their future from full moon to full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you start with the four of coins. So that talks about stable financial foundations. Um, stable foundations that can talk about travel a little bit with a boat in the background. But it also has this note that says, don't cling to your money too tightly. And you let it flow out, it'll flow back in. Now, next you get the Four of Cups. So you've got double fours now. The Four of Cups is about, it can be about wishing things were one way and really not looking at the way they actually are. Or it can be about boredom, kind of being bored with the way things are. Now, you get the Eight of Coins, so you guys are definitely putting in your hard work for the next lunar cycle. Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a whirlwind romance. So if you're already with somebody, then you're probably going to fall in love with a creative project or a hobby or something like that. Now, if you are single, then this can very well represent you meeting somebody that's kind of a whirlwind thing where you're just caught up in it really, really quickly. And then finally, the Five of Wands. So there will be some fighting somewhere in the next lunar cycle. We'll get Oracle and see how you step around it. Now, let's start the Oracle with the Angel deck. So, Angels, for the best benefit of group number three, please cooperate. Okay, so the angels are asking for your cooperation. They're trying to move you in the direction that is your best and highest path, and um, they're, they're asking that you cooperate with them. Now, let's see what the Moonology deck has to add. So, let's start with the Five of Wands. What is there to add to this Five of Wands? How do they step out of the fighting? All right, nothing will come of this situation. So wherever there's fighting, nothing's gonna come of it. It's not gonna end relationships or anything like that. So whatever fighting you, you encounter in the next uh, full moon to full moon, know that nothing's gonna come of it and you can just relax about it. Now, I would also like to see the Four of Cups with Moonology. So what is there to add to this Four of Cups? A win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so if you are looking at things the way you wish they were and not really focusing on the way they are, you are very well on your way to manifesting. This is a win-win. You know, you are going to be able to manifest exactly what you want. Uh, it may not come in exactly the way you expect it, but you're gonna be able to manifest your desires by focusing that intent and then releasing it. You absolutely have to release it. If this is boredom for you, then whatever you decide to do with that boredom, whatever you decide to do with your free time um, to kind of step out of the boredom, it's gonna be a win for you. It's gonna bring in good things. Now, let's see the Four of Coins with Queen of the Moon. So what is there to add to this Four of Coins? from Queen of the Moon. Self-love. Okay, so this talks about clinging to your money too tightly and self-love. Sometimes you need to do something nice for yourself. 
you know, you guys have tons of hard work going on over here. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself. Make sure you have time to play. Make sure you give yourself some, some, you know, little treats now and then, you know, do things that are nice for yourself. Now, I would also like to see Queen of the Moon for the Knight of Wands. Creation. Okay, that is about manifestation. So this is, you know, there is the possibility for a whirlwind romance, whether it is, you know, there's a possibility for a whirlwind romance with a person. But there is also the possibility of falling in love with a creative project or a hobby or a career or, you know, an idea. You know, there are lots of passions in the Knight of Wands. Now, you are able to manifest exactly what you want. These are building plans right here. So just be very clear about your desires so that the universe brings you, you know, the desire of your heart. Now, let's see the eight of coins. That is the hard work you're going to put in in the next lunar cycle. So what is there to add to this hard work? They're putting in their hard work. What is passion? Okay, so your work is going to be your passion. Like, the, you're going to put work into things that you're passionate about. Some of you definitely finding a hobby. Some of you may be switching to a job that you're really passionate about. But there are lots of passions in where you put your work in the next lunar cycle. Now, let's see what crystal supports you through the full moon to full moon. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three, please. Phantom Quartz, embrace change. Okay, so the end of a tough cycle is coming. You need to embrace the changes as they come in. It's going to really release your passions. Don't forget self-love, okay? If self-love is a change for you, it's very important. You really need to take care of yourself. Now, let's see the wisdom deck for group number three. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For the best benefit of group number three, please. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so you get ritual, invocation, and pinnacle respect. So this is basically saying that whatever you, whatever your rituals are, whether you burn candles, whether you, um, I mean, whether you spend time with nature, whatever your rituals are that help you connect to your higher power, that help you, you know, connect to the world around you, it is going to be kind of heightened for the next lunar cycle. And then this pinnacle respect, this is definitely saying that you're, you're protected. You just need to respect that protection and, you know, not do anything that, um, uh, not do anything crazy. Like, you know, just don't do anything crazy. Um, you know, know that you are protected though. Now let's see the star seed deck for group number three. Oh, something flipped. Okay. You start with wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So wherever this fighting is, see it as an opportunity to shed your light and be a beacon of light in whatever this argument is. Next, you get intuition. Trust your intuition. It's been guiding you to the answers you seek. And finally, observation. Expand your consciousness by observing the divine matrix of life. So try to spend some time in this next month, you know, taking a moment with nature and really observing life around you. Follow your intuition, trust your intuition. Your intuition is not gonna lead you wrong and just spread your light wherever you can. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please remember to subscribe. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello, 
to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach is the first message of your reading. So the conclusions are out there. Now let's take a look and see what you can expect from full moon to full moon. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the next lunar cycle for group number four from full moon to full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Queen of Wands, that's you stepping into your authentic self, being really true to who you are. All right, next you get the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks about looking at what you've lost versus looking at what you still have. Gratitude is generally the way to step out of a Five of Cups energy, just kind of listing the things that you still have that you um, really appreciate. It kind of helps you focus on what you have, but we'll get Oracle and see what's going on with this energy. Now, next you get the Page of Swords. That can be paying really close attention to the details. Um, it can have kind of the note of someone paying really close attention to you or you paying really close attention to somebody else, like maybe through social media or something like that. Now, Six of Cups, that talks about reminiscing, looking back, seeing how much you've grown, um, maybe spending time with people that you have not seen in a while from from your younger days that sort of thing and finally the queen of swords the queen of swords probably represents you i would say that both queens probably represent you um the queen of swords is very protective she's very straightforward she you know she doesn't mince words at all she says exactly what she means and then your queen of wands is all about you stepping into your passions now let's get oracle for everything we're going to start the oracle off with the angel deck angels for the best benefit of group number four please archangel raguel okay archangel raguel is the archangel of fairness so whatever it is you've lost he is working in your life to kind of bring things back to where they should be now you can call out to Archangel Raguel and he will assist. Um, he's great with legal issues and that sort of thing and um, fairness in general. Now let's see what Moonology has for the swords. Let's actually, let, well no, let's start with the Page of Swords. Expect powerful change. Okay, so if this is telling you to pay attention to the details, then if you do pay attention to the details, you can expect very powerful change. Um, now, for some of you, this is definitely someone paying close attention to you. Um, some of you, I mean, you guys already know, like it's not something that you don't know about. Um, for some of you, it's an ex who's watching you on social media, that sort of thing. There may be changes on that field as well this upcoming lunar cycle. You know, maybe they will move on and, you know, thank goodness, right? Now, let's see the Five of Cups out of Monology. So, what is up with this Five of Cups? A fiery climax approaches. Okay, so whatever you feel that you've lost, there is something coming to an end. You know, that feeling, hopefully, is exactly what's coming to an end. And you're going to, you know, step into a stronger stance of what you have. Um, whatever is lost is going to be, you know, it, it's going to kind of fade away and there is going to be replacements, especially with Archangel Raguel being here. Now, there may be, you know, an interesting climax to whatever, um, whatever the situation is that caused the loss, but, uh, but you're going to move through everything just fine. Now, let's see the Queen of the Moon for the Queens. We'll start with the Queen of Wands. What is there to add to the Queen of Wands for group number four? Purity. Okay, so this next lunar cycle, you just completely focus on your passions, on what it is that you love to do, on just you know, who you are. Really make a pure energy of that. Let yourself just be authentically you and it's going to further you down your path. Now for the Queen of Swords. 
action. All right, so the Queen of Swords says take action. The Queen of Swords is very protective, so protect yourself where you need protecting in this next month. Um, take whatever action you need to to you know make sure that you and yours are protected and taken care of, and just you know be very straightforward with the situations. Now the Six of Cups that is reminiscing and seeing your growth. Let's see what the spell casting oracle has for that. Transformation. Okay, you are going through a transformation. You know, you're moving on from some things and moving into some more stable, more powerful energies. And it's transformative for you. So take some time and see the growth that you've made. Really appreciate where you are now because you've come a long way. Now, let's see what crystal will support you for the next lunar cycle. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, a crystal for group number four, please. Celestite, soothe your soul. All right, so Celestite is, you know, it is very, um, well, it's very soothing, very calming, kind of like the Amazonite. So it's possible that Celestite might be something you look into putting a piece in your pocket. Um, do something that's soothing for your soul. It is going to be beneficial for you. Now, let's see the little wisdom deck for group number four. For the best benefit of group number four, please. Okay, you got two cards. Let's see what they say. You got earth grounding and air imagination, okay? So this is saying keep yourself grounded. Make sure that you stay in touch with nature. Make sure that you stay in touch with, you know, the now, but also let your imagination run wild. You've got the Queen of Wands in your reading, so you're going to step into a really authentic energy. So let your imagination run free. You can do that and stay grounded at the same time. Now, let's see what the Starseed deck has for group number four. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number four, please. All right, let's see where you start. You start with patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. So be patient. Things are moving forward. Next, you get fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. So you are going to get to where you want to go. And finally, you get guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. So your spirit guides and angels and ancestors are all looking out for you. And you are not alone. Know that you're going to step into exactly what you desire. And be patient. The universe is working on it. All right. That is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please remember to subscribe. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the full moon in Scorpio. Your first message of the reading is it's time to release negativity. So any negativity you're hanging on to, now is the time for it to go. Good things are headed your way and you've got to release the negativity for them to be able to come in. Now let's take a look at what you can expect for the next lunar cycle. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the cards showing the next lunar cycle for group number five from full moon to full moon. All right, let's take a look. You start with the queen of coins. The queen of coins can represent you or someone in your vicinity, someone you're interacting with, but the queen of coins, she wants for nothing and she shares what she has. Very generous, very loving energy. 
Now, you also get the Page of Cups. That's fun and socializing. You may find that in the next lunar cycle, you're spending more time with friends, doing fun things. Ooh, the sun, I love it. Tons and tons of growth. The sun is the brightest card in the tarot deck. It says that this next lunar cycle is gonna be fantastic. Now, there is this negativity that needs to go. Some of you may not have the negativity, but some of you have you know some negativity that you need to cut out and the sun is gonna help you do that. Now, the eight of swords, all right, that's your stuck energy. We're gonna see how you step out of that. With it being right next to the sun, it's, it's almost definite you're gonna step out of it. And then the three of cups, celebrations, good times, having things to celebrate. This looks fantastic, guys. All right, let's see what the angels have to add and then we'll get the oracle for everything else. So angels for group number five, you get be content. All right, definitely be content with what you have. Um, be grateful for what you have, but be content. You know, know that what you desire is coming your direction. And you know, this moment is just what, what it is and be content in it. Now for the eight of swords, how do they step out of the eight of swords energy? you are good enough. So wherever you feel stuck, wherever you feel like you can't move forward, part of it may be because you doubt your worth, you doubt your value. You are good enough. You can do whatever you want. You can move forward. It, you have the strength, the, the power. You are plenty good enough. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon for the Page of Cups. What is there to add to this Page of Cups? nourishment okay so it's going to nourish your soul this fun that you have with friends the socializing it's going to be very nourishing to your soul it looks really good now let's see the three of cups out of queen of the moon faith okay so you need to have faith that you're going to have wonderful things to celebrate in the next lunar cycle you've got to have the faith that it's coming in because that helps draw it in now let's see the queen of coins with the spell casting oracle what is there to add to this Queen of Coins energy? Freedom. Okay, so some of you are stepping into financial freedom. Like you are getting jobs, you're getting promotions that lead to freedoms. There's a little dragonfly bringing the key, setting her loose. You know, there there is financial freedom for some of you. For some of you, just being able to help others, being able to share what you have generously with others is your is your path to freedom now let's see what the sun Ooh, financial health okay yeah no you definitely have financial things going on the sun is shining on your finances in the next lunar cycle now let's see what crystal will support you through the next lunar cycle angels spirit guides ancestors a crystal for group number five please chrysocola start fresh all right, so Chrysocolla is wonderful. It is, I mean, people use it for writing and creativity, but it's also wonderful for fresh starts and, you know, maybe a piece of Chrysocolla for the next month wouldn't hurt. Now, let's see what the Wisdom Deck has to add for group number five. Angels, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, thank you. All right, you get Book of Shadows, Secret. All right, so there's a secret. Um, you know, I'm gonna stick with this deck. What about the secret? What's going on with the secret? Water cleansing, okay. So your spirit guides are wanting to talk to you specifically. They have secrets and things that they would like to share with you. Um, that are going to further you down your path, that are going to make sense of things that you're dealing with, and they really connect to you through the water. So whether it's in the shower, whether it's in the bathtub, whether you take a walk by a lake or a river or whatever, your spirit guides are more connected to you when you're close to the water. So just, you know, spend some time with the water, especially over the next month, and whatever this secret is out of the Book of Shadows, it's going to come to light for you. They're going to share whatever they can. Now, let's see what the Starseed deck has to add for group number five. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number five, please. 
There we go. All right, you start with gratitude. Universal love shines through the miracles of life all around you. So make sure you are showing gratitude. Now, you also get truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. Absolutely, have the courage to walk your truth. Have the courage to step into this wonderful energy. Now, you finish up with free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. All right, that is all I have for group number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please remember to subscribe. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.